Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see an uh, important pre-processing technique called stemming. Stemming is the process of finding the root of words. So root words means, uh, let's say if you are having uh, different words like uh, fighter, fighting, fight means it will just uh, go to the root word that is fight. So like that, it will just truncate the words to the root form. So this will be very helpful in order to reduce the number of uh, words in the total vocabulary. And uh, you can see a word stem may not be the same root as the dictionary based morphological root. It just is an equal to or a smaller form of the word. So it just uh, truncates the words. Sometimes it won't give you meaning as well uh, because it will just uh, uh, truncate the word in some uh, different form and the spelling may be wrong. So that is uh, one disadvantage of uh, stemming. But other than that, it will just uh, take the root words of every uh, different kinds of words. Let's say if a word is a verb or adjective, whatever the word you are uh, giving, it will just give you the root word. So we may lose some information because of uh, uh, the additional information we are using uh, based on the truncating. But this will be very helpful if you are uh, dealing with like so many uh, words. Now let's see an example uh, to see uh, how it's working. Uh, now, I'll just import a module for uh, stemming from nltk.stem import porter stemmer. Now, I'm going to initialize it ps equals porter stemmer. And uh, here I'm gonna create a word equals here I will just pass some words. So, I'll just say fighting. Now uh, ps dot stem. I'll just pass the word. Let's see the result. Maybe I'll just initialize it uh, in the import section itself. Okay. Now let's run this. Sorry, I just have to rerun this. See, it just truncated uh, this ing. So uh, we will be getting only fight. We'll also use another word. Uh, let's say fighter. Uh, Okay, it's not truncating uh, here. Sometimes give you the same word also. So that is also there. And uh, what other words are there? Uh, let's go for eating. So this is uh, uh, getting as eat. Uh, let's also say eats. It's also giving us like eats. Uh, we will also take uh, one more uh, word, eaten. Okay, here uh, it's not giving us the uh, root word. So sometimes it will give us the root word, sometimes it won't. So uh, there are like a different kinds of uh, stemmer. You can also use this uh, snowball stemmer in order to use the different uh, algorithm. So that is also possible. And uh, these are like different uh, kinds of uh, stemming. And uh, we can also uh, see it with the whole sentence. I'll just uh, copy the text here. This is the text we have used earlier. Okay, this is the whole text. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'll also use the word tokenize because this will go in an order. So this is the word tokens. Okay, run this. Now all the tokens will be here. What I'm gonna do is, stemmed sentence equals dot join off uh, i'll just use this ps dot stem here for word in word tokens let's also see the results run this now you can uh, see the result so hi everyone so it just uh, removed the e here. So this is uh, uh, one of the disadvantages that I have told. It won't be the word that is uh, in the dictionary, but it will just uh, truncate into like a smaller word. And this uh, has been removed like a THI. I think it, I just considered as a plural. And here hackers also changed to hacker and uh, realm is same. Learning just truncated to learn, uh, natural uh, truncated to nature without the E, 
it just gone for the root word if you just add another uh, ing means it naturing but uh, that's not like actual word and uh, if you add e means it will be nature so like that uh, will be uh, getting some different words from the root and uh, he here also you can see reached has been truncated to uh, reach so like this it will just uh, go into the root form and this didn't consider the um, punctuations so it won't consider that as a word so that's not a problem so this is the result we got after uh, uh, doing the stemming process this will be uh, one of the pre-processing technique uh, we'll be using in most of the machine learning or uh, natural language uh, uh, projects and apart from this i usually use lemmatization because lemmatization gives you the word that are present in the dictionary uh, it also loses some meaning like uh, the verb or adjective but it will give you the uh, clear sentence we will see that in the next video so we can clearly see the difference between like stemming and uh, lemmatization and that's it guys this is uh, how you can uh, do the uh, stemming for the whole uh, sentence if you have any queries uh, leave a comment below apart from that i'll see you guys in the next video